Hi guys, this is Servimad and welcome to this tips and tricks video for beginners. Um, before we begin, just to make sure you know, it, we will not be co covering things like axe and uh, pickaxe or food and water. They are covered in other videos that will appear in the top right hand corner, day one and how to make food and water. The first one is to prioritize loot. Now, when you are looting through uh, all the shelves and everything, you will find things like books. Books are great. Take them all. In fact, I will take that one. I don't have that one yet. <laughs> all right. So all you need to do with books, recycle or, or read. Easy peasy. But when you're looking through the shelves, you will find lots of stuff that says crafting items, screws and guns, important, more books, rubber string, you know, bullet casings, books, arrows and small gas canisters. Uh, lighters are good, always good. But there are lots of things. And what you need at the start of the game are basically liquid and food. Books are good. So what I would suggest you uh, prioritize at the start would be food and water, cigarettes. Cigarettes you can buy things with at the ATM later on in the game. Medical supplies, obviously. Batteries, batteries are good because this game is dark and you will go through batteries. Nails, nails later, you will need lots of them later on. Better start collecting them now. Um, and backpacks, obviously, but make sure you compare them to see which one has greater weight capacity. Uh, tools, weapons, lighters, matches, sticks, and rocks. They're the main things that will ge get you surviving at the start of the game. Okay, so this leads me now to tip number two. Tip number two, uh, tools are weapons. Tools are weapons. If you look at the damage of tools, you actually can do quite a bit of damage even with an axe or a machete, obviously. And baseball bats, this is a special baseball bat. Even a hammer, a steel hammer or a broom. So these are weapons. You can punch, but these things will do more damage. Okay, so that leads me then to tip number three. Tip number three is clothing and tools have stats. So compare all of them. Some mobs will take more blunt damage. Some mobs will take uh, more blade damage as well. So be aware of that. But with you've got tool clothing, they have all different sorts of stats. And this one is a search uh, speed buff. So all clothes potentially can have this. So compare the compare different pieces of clothing. If you get two pieces, compare them for their armor rating and their buff and how much uh, life they have left in them. All right. So that's tip number three. Tip number four, axe depletes when you are crafting sticks. So you need you need an axe to chop down trees and it depletes. But then when you craft sticks also, it will continue to deplete. So be careful of that. All right. Tip number five is a very important yet simple one. You have consumables underneath this knife and fork. It's more than just that. It's your medical supplies, food, water, and antitoxic pills, uh, batteries. All of these things can be put down here in number eight. So if you put it down in number eight and then press T, you'll notice that my, uh, I put batteries down there now, my uh, battery bar is full because I press T. So anything consumable, let's have something to eat. Okay, let's tab out of that. Let's press T, watch for the green bar down the bottom, boom. So pressing T when an item is in number eight. And also then tip number six, a simple one, but map pieces that you collect along the way can be put into uh, section seven. And then when they're in section seven, you just press M. 
Tip seven, the Elness bush. Now, the reason I've included this in this list is because uh, it's required early on to make a pick. The Elness bush is used to make fiber, which you need in a pick. So the easiest, uh, I thought we could include it here so you know how to recognize it. The problem with the Elness bush is that it comes in multiple different shapes. You have this medium sized one. Or you have this small one. Or you even have the older version, which you hit, have to hit down near the base. So the tip is basically that the Elness bush has multiple varieties. Uh, and so if you're trying to look for it, basically just hit the base of any tree you see that looks like a bush, not a tree. Tip number eight, uh, grenades and things like glow sticks. You put them in zero, but you use G to throw them. Okay, good, that's tip number eight. Okay, so now we are up to tip number nine. Now, tip number nine is bamboo. Now, the, the tip itself will come in a minute, but first of all, uh, you need to collect bamboo to make uh, wicker baskets. So you craft the bamboo into wicker. The tip is that bamboo is sometimes difficult to spot, and if you chop it down, it uh, can come back as sulfur. And so this is what sulfur looks like. So tip number 10 is the location of the saw bench and uh, crafting table. As you can see here, now when you get closer, you can see on the left hand side, it made a little symbol. That means you can craft planks. Now planks are very important. Uh, for crafting wooden boxes, small wooden boxes. You need nails and a little bit of scrap metal, but they hold a lot more than the bamboo uh, boxes. So the location of this uh, is just up from the train station on the border of A and B2. Now, there, if you want to find this place also, I do uh, show the way in um, in one of my previous videos, which I will put a link to called Base Improvements with a question mark. Okay, close this. All right, so that's tip number 10, uh, the location of the saw bench. Okay, so tip number 11 is climb and you shall be rewarded. As you can see up the top here, there is a box. Over there is a box. And if you climb up, you can get into it. So this one I've already searched and that one there. Oh. But if you keep climbing around, you will be rewarded. There you go. So that's tip number 11. Climb and you will be rewarded. Now, later on, you will also get access to um, bamboo scaffolding when you find the right book. And basically, you can just make stairs. Bamboo scaffolding is very important for climbing and discovering lots of hidden treasures uh, because it's the only thing that can be built inside a POI. And then you can just use a crowbar to remove it. And finally, tip number 12 is the location of an ATM. The location is the gas station. It's an easy one to find. Sometimes it's a little difficult to clear this out, uh, but it's random. This time I came, there was actually nobody here and I'm day 33. But the reason why the ATM is important is because you can trade your cigarettes for lots of things you just need to put them into the atm in order to trade them and things like tin will be important at the start of the game ammo also if you need it and some crafting books here 
Uh, but this Punisher is what I'm saving up for at the moment. So basically to buy it, you just need to make sure that the cigarettes are here. Then you click and then you just press craft if you have it. Okay, so that's it guys. They are the 12 tips and tricks that I have put together for you. If there's anything else you'd like to know, please put it in the comments and I will happily make a video to help you out there. But other than that, guys, if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe and don't forget to tickle the bell next to the subscribe button and you will get regular videos. All right, guys, thank you very much for joining me for this tips and tricks video and I hope to see you next time. Final tip, number 13. Don't stand still. Things can spawn around you. Oh, and actually, if you're going to log, get on top of something. <laughs> they can't reach you. Look. Do -do -do. And if you log back in here, and particularly, if I log back in here particularly, there will probably be a fat poison bloke as soon as uh, we rock in. He can't get us up here. So make sure when you log off or save, you do it on top of a vehicle. All right, guys. That was a bonus. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later.